This garrison town was a kind of 13th century green zone or safe base for the English invaders as they tried and tried to put down the angry Welsh insurgency. You can still see the original checkerboard street plan the English came up with when they built the castle and the ramparts. This grid plan of streets dates from about 1280, when Edward built Conway and filled it with English settlers. Even though he nearly bankrupted the country with his extravagant castle building, many consider Edward to be England's finest monarch. He established and consolidated the United Kingdom, in other words, added Wales and Scotland to England, in order to create a realm big enough to compete with the rising European powers of the age. Conway's charming high street leads down to the harbor, which permitted Edward to safely restock his castle. Wander downhill, enjoying the slice of Welsh life scene. Plas Mawr, a rare surviving Elizabethan house, dates from 1580. It was the first great Welsh home to be built within Conway's walls. Stepping into the house, visitors are wowed by the heraldry over the fireplace. Repainted in its original bright colors, it proclaims the rich family's princely lineage. Built as the finest Elizabethan house in Wales, Plas Mawr offers a delightful peek into 16th century domestic life. An excellent audio guide explains each room. The kitchen came with all the latest circa 1600 refinements. A hanging bread cage to keep food away from wandering critters. Hay on the floor to add a little warmth and soak up the spillage. And a good supply of fresh meat in the pantry. The lady of the house's bedroom doubled as a sitting room with a foot warmer by the chair and a finely carved four-poster bed. The curtains were drawn at night to keep out the bugs and keep in the warmth. The great chamber was for hearty feasting, followed by boisterous gaming, dancing, and music. All this extravagant entertainment under a ceiling full of more heraldry reflecting important, if dubious, family connections left a powerful impact on guests. Conway's Harbor, once vital for military purposes and then a busy industrial port, is now a laid-back zone that locals treat like a town square. It's Saturday night, and the action is on the quay. The scene is mellow, multi-generational, and perfectly Welsh. It's a small town, and everyone's here, enjoying the local cuisine, chatting on the pier, spilling out of the pub, and savoring that great Welsh pastime of torturing little crabs. <laughs> 